So this story from Semaphore that we're about to go through, I want to be clear up front. This is highly contested. Okay, so MSNBC is swearing up and down. This is not true. This is not true. But let's go through it and uh, see what we make of it. So this is from Max Tanney. He says, Inside MSNBC's Middle East Conflict. MSNBC has quietly taken three of its Muslim broadcasters out of the anchor's chair since Hamas's attack on Israel last Saturday amid America's wave of sympathy for Israeli terror victims. Now, the network did not air a scheduled Thursday night episode of the Mehdi Hassan show on the streaming platform Peacock. MSNBC also reversed a plan for Ayman Mohildin to fill in this week on the network for host Joy Reid's 7 p.m. show on Thursday and Friday. Mohildin, an Egyptian-American journalist and veteran NBC News correspondent, covered the conflict from Gaza for two years. In 2021, he aggressively questioned Israeli leaders on strikes on the territory. Two network sources with knowledge of the plans told Semaphore that the network also plans to have Alicia Menendez, who, by the way, is, I believe, the granddaughter of Robert Menendez, Gold Bar Bob, the most corrupt Democrat in the country, fill in this upcoming week for Ali Velshi, a third Muslim-American host who on Sunday interviewed a spokesman for the Palestinian Authority. Some staff at MSNBC have been concerned by the moves, feeling all three hosts have some of the deepest knowledge of the conflict. NBC says the shifts are coincidental, and the three continue to appear on air to report and provide analysis. A company official vehemently pushed back against any notion that either Hassan or Mohildin were being sidelined in any way. Over the past several days, Mohildin has appeared on several programs on MSNBC as a guest, including shows hosted by Reed and Chris Hayes. While he did not host Reed's show, a network official said that the cable channel opted to stick with its more recognizable weekday host rather than hand over the reins to weekend anchors. Hassan's Peacock show is taped, and the network official said his show was shelved in favor of keeping coverage on the NBC streaming service more up to date. The fact of the matter is this when it comes to these guys. Um they really do have the best knowledge on this issue. They really do. Like they said, um, Mohildin was on the ground in, um, in Gaza doing reporting for a very long time. Mehdi Hassan knows the conflict inside and out. Ali Velshi knows the conflict inside and out. Uh, they have been more sympathetic to Palestinians than almost any other voice, certainly on the network. Um, now, let me show you this as well. So this is Max Tanney, the journalist for Semaphore. He says, MSNBC has quietly taken three of its Muslim broadcasters out of the anchor's chair since Hamas's attack on Israel. Uh, my story and this plus internal tension among NBCU staff over how to talk about last week's attack and what's going on in Gaza. So the community, I want to give you the community note because this is important too. They say, MSNBC vehemently denies suspending its anchors even when contacted by Tanney. Ali Velshi is traveling back from Israel where he's been reporting. Um, and then you have, I guess, a comment here from Iman. So, what's actually going on? Well, the piece to me that's most concerning is, you know, the claim is, many had already recorded a show, and they shelved it. They've never done that before. They've never done that before. So, I find that very strange. Um, they were going to have it, so one of the hosts fills in. And then they said, no, let's not go with him. Let's go with somebody else. Now they're claiming we wanted somebody who was more recognizable, but he's been on air on the weekends for a really long time. And I don't know, that's also questionable. If he was originally supposed to be the person who's going to fill in, and then they decide, we're going to go ahead and not go with you. And then Ali Velshi in particular, he does a show in studio, and they were like, all right, you're not going to be in studio. We're going to get you more in the field. Now, to be fair, he does do that uh, relatively often. But it's, it's also true that when you're in studio, you can flesh your thoughts out more. You can go deeper into the issues. Whereas if you're on the ground, they give you like a two-minute, three-minute, five-minute segment where you just say, hey, here's what's happening. Here are just the facts on the ground, right? So, look, can we say definitively that MSNBC is silencing these hosts? No. I don't think you could say definitively, particularly because um, they haven't been fired, right? Like, if they were fired, now, that would have been perhaps way too brazen. So they have to be more um, artful about it. But firing them would have been silencing them, right? Um, but it does certainly appear like in some ways they've tried to limit their reach and their scope. Like slowly but surely um, bench them in a way where they can't be the primary voices covering this. And look, ultimately, that's my main criticism 
is even if you say this is all uh, just a, a coincidence and it's actually not true at all, they didn't plan on doing this in any way, shape, or form, the fact of the matter is this. This war is a huge deal. It's getting a lot of breaking news coverage. These three should be the ones covering it the most. They should be doing the breaking news coverage in the studio. But I think for sure they would never go in that direction. Why? Because they're terrified of the mania and the hysteria around this issue, where the rest of the media keep it real. Certainly, cable news hosts are being very open to vengeance and retribution and retaliation. And um, there's not as much of a concern for Palestinians. There's just not. There's just not. To be fair, print media has done a phenomenal job for the most part, with some exceptions. Uh, but TV news has been horrible. And uh, look, these three hosts should honestly be getting uh, a promotion at a time like this. Because they do have the best knowledge of the situation, and it's not even close. And I also think they're they're good hosts. Mehdi Hassan is, is a great interviewer, and he uh, really is good at debating. Uh, Ali Velshi is a good on-air presence. Um, nobody knows more than Ayman, Ayman, however you say his name, Mohildeen. Nobody knows more than him on this issue. So what I would say is, in a world that made sense, they'd be getting a promotion right now. They'd be, they'd be on-air most of the time. But instead, if anything, their roles have been reduced. And the final point I'll make is this. Guys, understand, there was a bunch of outrage over um, what Iman said the other day. Was it Iman? I think, was it him or Ali Velshi? I think it was, I think it was Iman. He, um, he gave a really long, detailed, thought out, like, here's how we got to where we are analysis after the Hamas terror attack. And a lot of people were triggered by what he said. They felt like he was saying, it wasn't a terror attack, or it wasn't bad, or it wasn't condemnable. He didn't say any of those things. He said, look, one of the main reasons we got to this point is the failed policies of the Israeli government. And that is a much more mild claim than saying, oh, the Hamas did nothing wrong. Of course he doesn't believe that, and he never said that. His point about Israeli policy, I think, is undeniably true. But it's one of the things that, if you say, in the moment, people get really triggered by it. And so there was like a Mediate article that was like, you know, saying he said something he didn't say, and then you watch the full th clip in context, and you're like, that actually was perfectly reasonable. And it is possible that MSNBC executives saw the Mediate piece where people were attacking uh, Iman, and then he was like, benched as a result of that, right? So it is possible. There was like a timeline of events here where they may have been afraid of somebody not sufficiently being rah, rah, Israel on air. So, look, either way, bad moves from the network, whether this story is true or not true, whether they slightly reduce their roles uh, or they're totally bench them or whatever, doesn't matter. Bottom line is, they should be the ones who are on air leading the coverage because they're the most knowledgeable. But right now, knowledge is not what the network's looking for. They're looking for cheerleaders for the Israeli government, even at a time when they are doing massive collective punishment against innocent civilians, which is taking a page out of Hamas's playbook. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.